Hey lovely crafty people and welcome to the Enchanted Spring Yushu Pop featuring the Sweet November Stamps brand new spring release. There are going to be 10 stamp sets in this collection and two new sequin mixes and you have the chance to win all of them by hopping along and commenting and subscribing to all the channels of the people involved. These are the stamps that I'm using so I've got the Sweet November Girl Sorrel and this Enchanted Spring Flowers set. And I'm also going to use one of the new sequin mixes. And it's so beautiful. I love the butterflies in it and all the colours. And it's called the Spring Garden Mix. So I started off by just cutting a square piece of paper there. That's about five and three quarter inches by five and three quarter at this stage. However, I do trim it a bit later on. So I'm going to take my Sweet November Girl Sorrel and put her in the center of this piece and use my stamping platform to stamp her up with some memento ink just making sure that my bit of paper stays centered there and as you can see I stamp her twice just to make sure that, that ink really is taking and nice and crisp there on the image it's mainly just because it's obviously one of the first times that I'm using this stamp as well so it just takes a little bit more sometimes. But two stamps and she is good to go. I'm then also going to take a little bit of scrap paper and I'm just going to use that to stamp her out on again. I'm just going to use the ink that's left over on the stamp just to do that. And this I'm going to use as a mask. So it's just standard scrap paper from a printer and I'm going to use my scissors obviously to cut around her to make my mask. And I've done it so it's literally right up against those lines and as you'll see there I've actually cut straight through her arm because it doesn't matter I'm just going to stick it down. And now I'm using Zig two-way glue and I'm just going to coat the back side of this image with it and then I'm going to leave her to one side so that she can dry off. I love the two-way glue because you can use it either just as a straight glue or like this where you can leave it and it, once it gets tacky it's then repositionable so you can take it off afterwards. So I'm just going to start colouring in my image while that dries um, and I will put the colour combination for all of these copics that I'm using in the description box below so be sure to check that out. So I'll leave this while you're just watching me colour away here and I'll leave you to it.
So I couldn't decide um, after doing these leaves what colours I might want to do the rest of her. So I decided in the meantime, now that my mask has dried and got to that tacky stage, I would put her back over the top. So I just use that mask to cover up the area that I've just coloured in there. And I'm just making sure that it's lined up nicely so that when I do my stamping over the top, there aren't any little halos or edges there that I have to contend with. And I'm going to use my magnets just to stick her down and hold that down just a little bit more as well. Now I'm going to use this one corner stamp from this spring, in, in, sorry, Enchanted Spring Flowers set. And I thought it looks quite like wings when you put it on an edge like this. So I wanted to give her some nice floral wings. So I'm just lining that up to where I think it looks right. And as you can see, my magnets are going everywhere. But I'm just going to use again the Memento Black Ink because I find that works really well with the Copics and your alcohol markers and it doesn't bleed. So I'm going to put this one on this side here. And again, you'll see I'll just press it down a little bit firmer in where that mask is just to make sure that there's no white edge around her. And then I'm going to turn it round and lay it back down on the other side to give her wings on the other side as well so I've literally just flipped that stamp round so it's now up the other way and I'm stamping it down again and again just making sure I get no white line there between where my mask is and where she is and then we can do the reveal pull off the mask and there we go she now has big floral wings I also then just trimmed this down because where I'd put those wings that one on the left there was a little bit further from the edge than the one on the right. So I just very quickly trimmed a little bit off the edges just to make it, and I just did this by eye, literally just to make it look a little bit more even. So there you can just see it's a bit more even. And then I decided that I was going to add in yellow, which matches in with the new sequin mix, the spring garden mix. Uh, and I thought I'd do that for the flowers in her basket and make them like yellow roses and again I'll do the same for her top as well later on um, and just finishing off her lips there and again adding the same pink colours for her hat again I, these are all things that I was just trying to decide what colours I wanted to do them now for the flowers in the background you could do them all bright colours I decided that I was going to do them monochrome so that it just pops out and doesn't distract from the main lady there in the front. So I've just gone over this with a couple of the BG colours, just to literally give it that little bit of background there, but without distracting, hopefully without distracting from the main image. And I did the same thing using the same colours for the entire rest of the wings. So I figured you didn't need to see me colour all the same thing and just watch me repeat the same thing. So I just skipped that bit out for you. So here's my finished card. I hope you like it. As you can see, I've added some of those sequins. Just picked out the colours that matched my lady there. Thank you very much for supporting me and watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment to be in the chance for winning the entire release.